friends, it's Miss Allie from the East Cobb Library, part of the Cobb County Public Library System. I'm glad you're joining us for Family Art Time this week. This week we're going to talk a little bit about Women's History Month. Have you heard of that? That's what the month of March is celebrating. All the women in America who have made things that were wonderful contributions to our country. Today we're going to celebrate by having a story and a craft project from a wonderful author and illustrator. Her name is Lois Ellert, and she loved to read since she was a little kid, just like you guys. And then after high school, she was able to go to art school. She spent lots of time drawing, especially things in nature. And now she illustrates lots of books. That means she makes the pictures. And she also is an author. That means she writes the stories too. You won't believe this, but the very famous book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, I know you've read that one. She drew all the pictures for that. Now she's got a special style of art she uses. It's called collage. I bet you've made a collage. That means you get found objects and cut paper and make your pictures that way instead of just drawing it with a crayon or a pencil. So today we're gonna have one of her books that she wrote and illustrated. So get ready for our story. Okay, it's time for our story. It's Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ellert. What do you think we're gonna plant in this book? Oh, I think it's going to be maybe a flower garden. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. See the colors of the rainbow in the letters? In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. See these funny looking things? Those are flower bulbs. They're going to grow into different types of flowers when spring comes. This one's one you bet you've heard of. It's a tulip. This one's going to be a daffodil. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. I know you've seen seed packets before. You don't even have to get them from a catalog. You can get them at the store. They're all different kinds of flowers. I bet you've seen those marigolds. Oh, we're waiting for spring to come and warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. Look, those funny looking little things started to grow roots and shoots and even some leaves and some buds. Oh boy, man, look at this one. It's already getting so big. That's the tulip. Then it's time to go to the garden center and select some seedlings. Seedlings are little small plants that have already been grown from seeds. They're ready to put right in the ground, already with leaves and sometimes buds and sometimes even flowers already. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in the soil. Oh boy, you're getting everything lined up so nice and neat. And they've got these little sticks labeling what they planted. That way you can remember what you did. Oh, and then we watch the rainbow grow. I see lots of colors from the rainbow, but what color do you see the most of right now? Green? Yeah, usually we get all the green leaves first before the colorful flowers. So the rainbow is growing. Oh, and it's going to grow and grow. It's getting so big now. We can see a whole rainbow of colors. We've got red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. Which one's your favorite? We have some red flowers, all sorts of rose in the tulip, and orange flowers, zizzania, tiger lily, and some yellow blooms, oh, the daisy and the daffodils. I've seen the daffodils coming up already. The daffodils are one of the first flowers to bloom. And we grow something green. Oh, what are these wiggly squiggly ones with these tiny leaves? That's the ferns. Ferns are beautiful. No flowers on ferns, just pretty leaves. And some blue flowers. Morning glories, they grow on a vine that wiggles around. And delphinium and hyacinth corn flowers. I got to tell you, blue is my favorite. I like blue flowers the best. And some purple flowers too. Maybe purple is your favorite. Look at this beautiful iris and the pansies. Those grow really well here in Georgia. 
all summer long we pick them and bring them home oh look they've made a bouquet tied it all together so nicely let's see here it is that's a big bouquet look at that oh and you know what when summer is over we know that we can grow our rainbow again next year that's the end all right get your craft supplies out it's time to make our craft Okay, everybody, got all your class supplies ready? Here's what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make a colorful rainbow flower box. Oh, look at that. We're gonna use two different things, crayons to color our flowers, and then tissue paper pieces to glue on our flower box. I decided to make mine striped, kind of like a rainbow, but you can make yours however you'd like. So we'll just show you a little bit, just color it however you'd like. Let's see, why don't we make some magenta petals. The petals are part of the flower that goes around the outside. You can just color this however you like. And then we're gonna color the center. A lot of times the centers of flowers are yellow, but sometimes they're black. You ever heard of a flower called a black-eyed Susan? That's usually black in the center and then golden yellow petals around the edges. What color are the stems and the leaves usually for flowers? Green, right? Yes, yeah, so we get some green, color those in. And you can use whatever colors you like. I, I just picked some colors that were my favorites, but you might have different favorites. Maybe orange is one of your favorites. And maybe you'd wanna make an orange tulip. I think I'll make a purple tulip. I do like purple a lot. So just color it however you'd like. You can use markers if you'd rather instead of crayons or maybe if you want to get out your watercolor paints and paint them, you could do that too. It's your project, so you make it however you'd like. All right, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit here. You know how to color things in. You just color it however you'd like it to look. And then when you're all done coloring, then get your glue stick and we're gonna glue a little bit at a time. We'll glue these pieces of tissue paper on. So just put a little glue on one end and then start laying down your tissue paper. So I made stripes on that one. Maybe this time I'll do it differently. Maybe I'll do a checkerboard. That'd be kind of fun. Put a, put a, a turquoise one, and then I'll put a yellow one. How about that? But remember, it's your project, so you can make it however you'd like. Let's see, we'll put some yellow down here. And it's okay if they overlap. It's kind of fun when they overlap. They make a little bit different color when they overlap. And if you wanted, you could cut them. You could make them smaller if you wanted tiny, tiny ones. Let's see, I'll put some blue here. Get a little blue going. Get a little more blue here. So I'm gonna just work a little bit at a time. That one's kind of too big. I'm gonna use a little one. There you go. Just do a little bit of gluing at a time because you know how the glue is. It's going to dry. See, it's already dried. I'm going to put some more glue. And if the ends are flapping up, you can just go underneath and add a little more glue stick. It's nice about glue stick. It's pretty easy to work with. All right. What color shall I do next? Let's, let's make another color for our checkerboard. Let's see. Let's do... How about this bright pink? of a magenta color. Let's get some of that on there. Ooh, that looks nice. That's very colorful. And how about the purple? Light purple. Sometimes it's called light purple lavender or lilac. Did you know lilac's a kind of flower? So is lavender. Did you know that a lot of crayon colors have the names of flowers? Because flowers are so colorful. So anyway, just glue it and then stick them down and then put some more glue and just keep on gluing and sticking until you get to the end and then you'll be all done and you'll have your finished window box of flowers and i hope you'll get to plant some new flowers this year maybe you can go and get some flower seeds with your grown-up in a little pot and plant them in some dirt and water them and wait and it takes a little while. Just be patient for your real flowers to grow. But for now, you've got a paper one that you've made yourself. Thanks so much for coming. Hope to see you next time. Bye.